we're going to start by simply creating this particle system by going inside of our hierarchy and attaching it to our character. We're going to right click and go into FX and choose particle system. And there you go. You are now a particle system expert. Yay. Okay. So maybe we need to know a little bit more. So the first thing is this particle effect window. It allows you to play, pause, restart, and stop your particle effects just so you can experiment with it. And on the right, we have as much features and button as a teenager with a bad case of acne. Ugh. So let's talk about which button we're going to be popping. The first one is going to be the looping and the play on awake. And then this looping features just makes it so that it's, it's always playing. And now we can just play it here instead. The next one is the duration. So this is how long the particle are going to be emitting for. Uh, if we bring this back all the way down to maybe one and we start, we'll see that this won't last as long. See, so yeah, we're already done emitting the particles, but they're still staying there for quite a while. They're staying there for five seconds to be exact, which brings us to the start lifetime. If we want to go ahead and reduce this one to about one second, the particle is just going to be there for about one second. The next thing we want to look here is the size of our, the particles. And we can bring this all the way to maybe 0 0.09. Now we have tiny little particles. The next thing on the list is looking at the emission. Here we can look at the rate over time and adjust how many particles we want to emit. So just for an example, we can see that there is way more particles now. So this one is the shape. We're going to go ahead and choose a a box. Essentially what this does is telling you like where the particles are being emitted. Um, so what we're going to do here is adjust the scale of our box to about the width of our character and we're going to make it so that it's uh, basically like a little platform and adjust the position to put it at the feet of the player like this. If we play it now we can see that the particles are just popping at its feet. Um, the next one we want to look at is going to be called the velocity over lifetime. This will uh, send the particle into a certain direction. I go ahead with this and a play and we'll make it go that way. And then the last thing we want to look here is the renderer. And this is the same thing as a sprite. And finally, we're going to bring this particle system alive inside of our game by simply creating a small script. Just kidding, the script is already made, but we're going to make a little add-on to it. This is our movement script that we've used in another tutorial, which you can watch after this video if you'd like, about how to move your character. And here we've got that same function that we've used, uh, but multiplied by two whenever that the player is holding the left shift, which essentially makes the character run. And we want to have the dust particle appear whenever the character is running. So to do this, we're simply going to go ahead and create a variable. It's going to be a public variable so that we can add the particle system into it. So it's going to be a public particle system, which we're going to call dust. And quite simply, we're just going to go in here and we're going to call dust. And we're going to call the play function and save this. Go back into Unity and go to our character here. We're going to look at our character inside the inspector and go to dust. Here we're going to see that we can add this particle system. And let's try it out. And voila, you've now unlocked the secret knowledge of particle system and how to use them in your game in less than three minutes. Thanks to this awesome tutorial. You're very welcome. Please like and subscribe to our channel and stick around for the next section where we're actually going to implement this kind of knowledge into our own game. Let's check out what it looks like inside of our game, Cave Woman. This is uh, still an early prototype, but we've got this, uh, this dust particle whenever she jumps, which you can see here. And we also have this dust particle system that goes around the fairy as she's moving around. And you can see that it's kind of spiral. This is all part of the, the settings that you can use. And then I got this dust effect as well whenever that the character sliding off the wall. <gasps> if you guys want to learn a little bit more about the game we're currently working on, I just invite you to go and check out our Cavewoman playlist. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And go make some great games.